apologize for that a few technical issues but it has been sorted out as i was mentioning before so today in this in today's live video we're going to be talking about severe weather alerts that are issued here at the south african weather service but we're going to be focusing mainly on our winter weather systems and the alerts that we expect in winter weather systems and we'll also just go through the different categories that we have regarding um, the severe weather alerts now i'm sure on our facebook page as i mentioned on our website um, as well as on our twitter page you've probably seen um, a watch being issued, an advisory being issued, um, as well as a severe weather warning being issued. So today, basically, I'm just going to uh, kind of explain what is the message that we are trying to get across to the public when we issue out in an advisory, a weather watch and a weather warning. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is a special weather advisory. Now, special weather advisories are normally issued out three to five days in advance of the severe weather event that we are expecting. So this is basically letting the public uh, letting the public know that they need to be aware we have a severe weather event that is on its way and you need to keep looking at the alerts that will uh, will continue issuing out from the South African Weather Service. I'll just go through the list of the different special weather advisories that we have with regards to winter weather systems. Now, let's say, for example, we have a cold front that is approaching. And as the cold front uh, is approaching, we normally issue out an advisory for strong interior winds. And these winds means that over the interior, we're expecting winds to exceed or rather be between 50 and 60 kilometers per hour. Areas that we normally issue out an advisory for is the interior of the Northern Cape, as well as over the Western Cape and parts of the Eastern Cape. And again, depending on the intensity of the system, sometimes those strong winds can also um, include areas like the North West province, as well as the Free State. Second one I'm going to talk about a snowfall. So an advisory of snowfall is basically letting the public know that, that we are expecting snowfall with the system that's coming over the high-lying areas. But this snowfall will not necessarily be disruptive, but it is something that the public needs to be aware of. The next system um, or that are the next one that we have is very cold conditions. And with very cold conditions, we normally, that means the, as the front passes over an area behind that cold front, it becomes very cold and, and maximum temperatures of the day are only expected to reach 10 degrees. And this is especially info, important um, for small stock farmers to let them know in advance so that they can also be prepared. And the last one I'm going to talk about is frost. Now, this normally happens as the cold front has moved out of the country and no longer necessarily um, affecting the country uh, directly in terms of rainfall and so forth. But behind it, it leaves a very cold air mass over the interior of the country and our overnight minimum temperatures drop to below zero. And the following day, that's when you see widespread frost. And I'm sure with last week's uh, weather system, you probably saw widespread frost over most of the country. The Free State had reports of frost. Mpumalanga had uh, reports of frost northwest province had had reports of frost and that means that our temperatures our minimum temperatures dropped to below zero as a result of the cold air mass over the interior of the country um, behind that cold front so the next category that i'm going to talk about is severe weather watches and our severe weather watches are normally issued out within one to three days of uh in, in advance of the severe weather event that is expected and this is basically letting the public, uh, telling the public to be aware. We have um, some warnings, we have some alerts that are expected with the severe weather system that's coming. And when the danger or when the impact of that uh, severe weather is imminent, for example, if we have a cold front that's moving through over the Western Cape and over, over into the southwestern parts, Cape Metropole, over big districts, uh, when we are expecting um, rainfall to persist over a long period, that's when we'll then issue out a weather warning. And that may basically means that the danger from this weather event is imminent and telling the public that you need to take action. So if you are in an area which is affected by, for instance, flooding, you need to take action. I'll just go through the list of weather, uh, rather weather watches that we can then upgrade to weather warnings should the impact or should the, the weather, uh, should the weather event be imminent, should the danger from the weather event rather be imminent. First one I'm gonna talk about is um, high fire danger conditions. And these are normally expected ahead of that frontal system. So as the frontal system moves closer to the country ahead of it, um, remember we are in now our winter season. And in our winter season, basically over the interior, it is dry. We don't expect any rainfall. And because it's dry, um, we when should any fault fires start, 
together with the strong winds, that, that there's a potential of those fault fires becoming uncontrollable and becoming runaway fires. A very good example of that is about three years ago in 2017, we had the Garden Roots fires where uh, a fire started and because of strong winds ahead of that very intense cold front that affected the country, the, wind, the, the fires rather became uncontrollable and caused widespread damage and also loss of life. The next one that I'm going to talk about is gale force winds, and these this is when winds exceed 62 kilometers per hour, especially along the coastal regions ahead of that frontal system, as well as behind that frontal system. We normally expect gale force winds. Again, this mostly depends on how strong the system is that is expected to impact the country. The next one that I'm going to talk about um, is heavy rainfall that may lead to possible flooding. This is when we have that frontal band that sits, if, if let's say, for example, the cold front is moving slowly, and that frontal band sits over the southwestern parts of the country, and we're expecting this rainfall to be persistent over a long period, meaning that over in 24 hours, we're expecting rainfall to exceed 50 millimeters of rainfall, then we'll issue out a, a watch or a warning for heavy rainfall leading to local, localized flooding. The next one that I'm going to talk about is disruptive snowfall. And this normally occurs behind the cold front, where the snowfall that is expected from the specific weather system or cold front or a cut of flow, uh, we are expecting the, disrupt the snowfall to actually cause some form of disruption over the city or the town or the area that it is expected to fall on. And with this disruptive snowfall, it may actually result in a town or a city being cut off from the outside um, because of the fact that the, the snowfall is so disruptive. The last one that I'm going to talk about is high seas. Now, with high seas, this is when we expect wave heights to exceed six meters along the coastal regions. With high seas, we normally expect gale force winds to accompany the high seas. So it will no normally be wave heights that exceed six meters, as well as gale force winds with those wave heights that normally exceed 62 kilometers per hour. High seas are normally expected to occur, to occur rather, uh, behind the system along the coastal regions uh, from around Cape Columba and spreading all the way along the coastal regions along uh, the Plettenberg Bay, spreading even uh, all the way up to Port St. John's. This also depends on how intense and how strong the weather system is. So with regards to severe weather alerts, that's all we have for today. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please do uh, drop it in the comment section below and we'll make sure that throughout the day we'll respond to you. Thank you very much for joining me. Take care.